All right. So the Japanese Xenoblade 3 Twitter account has been dropping information like damn near every day. So we've been getting a lot of information about Xenoblade 3 and what's going to be inside of it. And today I'll just be updating y'all on the little bit of news that we actually got. Now the first tweet they posted a couple days ago, today actually, they said, or at least this tweet says, the stage of Xenoblade 3 is the world Ionios, consisting of two nations. In the wide and large field, we could see the sea and huge creatures. Besides swimming, it seems that there are other vehicles like ships. Well, tightrope walking's tightrope walking is abnai. So he's just giving us a little description of the areas, and they give us little screenshots right here of the areas we saw in the trailer. And it mentions that there are other vehicles like ships. So most that's most definitely junks coming back. And the last sentence says, "Well, tightrope walking is abnai." I'm not quite sure what that means. I did some research and from what I found, Abnai is a Philippine is a Philippine like surname. Like a name from the Philippines. So I'm not quite sure what that has to do with anything. That could simply just be some sort of translation error with Google Translate, because Google Translate isn't the best at actually translating shit. Okay, and this next set of tweets is really interesting because it gives us information about stuff we didn't even know yet. So this tweet reads, the army of Kevis and Agnes is also based on huge mobile weapons called the Iron Giant. There are dozens of Iron Giants in Kevis and Agnes, each of which is an independent army, each of which is an independent army and a place of living. I want to go early. So, it seems like these Iron Giants could be autonomous, and they could be acting on their own, because it says, each of which is an independent army. Oh, actually, I think they're just talking about Kevis and Agnes. And then, a place of living. So, and this actually connects to the follow-up tweet. But it seems like these Iron Giants are going to be all over the place, and... I'm not quite sure what kind of role they could play, but there are a lot of these and they seem to be very important. And the follow-up tweet actually says, the Iron Giant where the soldiers live is also called a colony. The colonies are numbered serially and it seems that some of them have various roles such as production, production of weapons instead of combat. So. I kind of predicted this back in my trailer analysis with this screenshot right here of Tyon. Uh, it looks he seems to be walking over to an iron giant and I had said that that could be like a gate into some kind of village or a colony but it turns out the iron giant itself is the colony so our heroes will, will be living in these iron giants. These iron giants are just giant colonies to them and since we have serial colonies maybe we get to return to colony 9 and colony 6 from xenoblade 1 and the part i found interesting was it said it seems that some of them have various roles such as the production of weapons instead of combat so perhaps like xenoblade 1 we will be able to buy different weapons and equipment at different colonies as in xenoblade 2 we couldn't change our weapons we could only change the core chips so basically just the design and stats of them but here it looks like we'll actually be able to buy new weapons and gear so that's that's a really nice addition and that actually gets me thinking about a couple things so these Iron Giants are obviously big enough to hold an entire colony. And one thing I was actually wondering was, would we actually be able to 
like control these iron giants because Xeno is no stranger to mechs. We have mechs in every game all the way back down to Xeno gears. So maybe in this game we'll be able to like take control of iron giants or even based mechon probably. And I say this because the mechs or the iron giants double as colonies and like war machines and hopefully we'll be able to control them during like certain story beats similar to how in xenosaga 2 at the beginning of the game we were able to control and actually fight in the uh, ss asher or the es asher and even in xenosaga 1 we we're able to control augs or eggs which are battle mechs so maybe we'll be able to it'll be similar to xenosaga where we have like two different combat styles of on ground combat and then in iron giant combat and we'll be able to switch between the two during during uh combat i'm not sure how that would work though considering xenosaga was is turn based and then xenoblade is more more like real time action based combat so I mean, knowing Takahashi and the madman he is, that could actually be possible, and he might actually do it. And now that I think about it and look back, we might actually be able to control some sort of mech or whatever. Maybe not specifically the Iron Giant, but at least some point or some type of mech, because in earlier tweets when the first when the game was first announced, they made a couple of tweets about Kevis and Agnes. In one for Kevis reads, Kevis is also a nation where mechanical technology has developed. The Kevis army is composed mainly of combat vehicles and it seems that it is it uses a unit of small mobile weapons that people board and operate. For the time being, Kevis has black clothes and looks like a mecha. So, and in this screenshot right here, we can see these, these black, mech type motorcycle weapon things right here and maybe we'll be actually able to board these and operate these during combat in overworld like some type of mech like like a skill it, it'll, it'll be similar to like a skill so we can use it both in combat or we can do ground combat and switch between both in real time and these could act like our skills for our Kevis party members and then for the follow-up tweet after that is about Agnes and it says Agnes is also a nation that is strong in the magical technology ether the composition of the army is also centered on units specializing in ether warfare and fights with self-sustaining small mobile weapons using ether technology Agnes is whitish and good at ether battles and if you see in this screenshot, we see that Agnes has similar, like, w weapon, weapon mechs. And perhaps our Agnes party members will be able to board these and use these during combat or in the overworld. Or, you know, again, like scales, switch between both in combat. So, maybe we'll most likely be able to use mechs considering how much bigger this game is going to be than one and two so maybe not the iron giants themselves but we will have some type of mech to board and operate during the game and i actually got to thinking about something since the iron giants double as like war machines combat machines and colonies i wonder will the ones that are colonies will they be able to like get up and move so will some of the colonies be relocated during parts of the games that i mean i doubt doesn't seem too plausible it doesn't seem like why would we need that but it's a really cool thought that maybe even ourselves we can like manually like control the iron giants and move the colonies onto somewhere else I doubt it, but that'd be a fun gameplay mechanic. Yeah, so 
we've gotten a little bit of information, but I'm wondering when are they actually going to talk about Nia and Melia? Because we've gotten all the character bios, we got some information about the overworld, about the Iron Giants, and about Kevis and Agnes itself, but they haven't really went in depth or talked about solely about Nia and Melia. So maybe they're saving that for a trailer or for the actual game, but I'm excited to see what type of news we get next. We might get some later today or tomorrow morning, or we might not, but you just have to stay on the lookout. This was a shorter video today because there wasn't too much information to go over, but every time new information drops, I will make a video and update y'all on that. So that's about it for this video. I'm excited for this game and everything we're learning about it, but whenever new trailers drop, new new uh, Twitter posts drop, I will most definitely make a video and let y'all know. But for now, that's going to be the end of the video. Like always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a damn good day. Stay safe, be well, and play some goddamn Xenoblade.